My name is Ian Allison. I'm a professor and I'm uh, what's known as an executive dean at the University of Central Lancashire. Well, what's an executive dean, I hear you ask? Well, that's a very good question because every day is absolutely different in my job. But basically, I look after science and technology here at the university. We uh, are one of the biggest universities in the, in the country. Uh, we have about 40,000 students and uh, in science and technology alone, we have eight to 9,000 students. And so that's a lot of students uh, and many staff, have hundreds of colleagues uh, helping to look after that, that group. So I basically lead the, the team, uh, but I, I also um, get involved in my own research. And my particular background is in software and socio-technical systems. So I'm interested in how technology is adopted and, uh, and uh, integrated into organisations. And I do, still do work on that. I've got research students of my own who uh, do some fantastic work, interesting work on looking at how we can build software better, more securely, and uh, and faster so so these are some of the things that i get involved in but um, but really my on a day-to-day -day basis it, my job is very much uh, helping to lead others support others in, in what they're trying to do for their students with their partners and in with their industrial contacts and so uh, the university here is very much rooted in its locality. We are 200 years old and we have a very strong ethos around helping others, uh, you know, making sure that they uh, they can get um, the opportunities and, and develop uh, to their best advantage, to their best ability. And so, you know, if we think about what we do at a university, of course, education and, and degrees is very much fundamental to what we do. And uh, I, you know, spend a lot of time uh, helping to, to make sure those degrees are, are the right quality, to think about the sort of skills that we might be needing, not just now, but actually in five years time, making sure that we are thinking ahead, working with employers, working with uh, professional bodies to make sure that the quality and the, and the skill set is absolutely uh, uh, the best it can be. And, uh, and that's a, something that uh, I'm particularly interested in doing. And I spent a lot of time when I was in Scotland working with uh, the software sector, helping the, those companies to integrate with and get involved in uh, university and college uh, activities, making sure that we can bring projects in so that students can get involved in those projects and making sure that the the knowledge base of the academics is kept up to date in terms of what current practice is in various software companies. But I also uh, get involved in a number of research projects and as I say my own research is really uh, software background. I, I was a software manager but I get involved in areas of agile development, um, looking at new techniques for developing software, making sure that software is secure, making sure that software can be released rapidly. And so we are interested in how we do that, interested in improving those processes, those techniques uh, in, in our sector. But um, you know, really, I suppose the, the key thing there is uh, ensuring that uh, we also bring that knowledge back in to our education and, and looking at how we link those three things together. But if, uh, if we think in terms of the uh, research in general, what we do at the university, some of the really cool things I get involved in are uh, we've got a project going on at the moment around helping the press and city to become smart and looking at how we can improve the transportation across the city and looking at um, using AI technology to facilitate that to br to reduce the carbon footprint in this area and we're also working on another project with British Airspace and, and other partners to look at a major drone facility uh, looking at how that technology can be used to improve the economic and, and social um, welfare of this particular region but also other other regions and as a university we work internationally of course and uh, we've got some great partners in the middle east in the far east uh, we, we're working in hong kong uh, extensively we're working in egypt now uh, we're developing uh, both partnerships with universities and colleges there but also research projects across those regions and uh, in terms of the sort of um, 
work we do, I suppose the, the key thing is that it's not always about just the cutting edge technology. It's about how we can help take those technologies out into industry, uh, make them more commercial. So we have a, a role as a university to, to think about the commercial opportunities and to think about developing new technologies and uh, being involved in a number of such, pro such projects. Uh, we, we recently won an award for working uh, with a company on improving waste uh, recovery from cars uh, and uh, we, we are also just in the midst of a, we just got a short listing for a project regarding this, the Grenfell Tower. Uh, disaster and uh, um, you know these are difficult things but uh, research helps us to understand how the the result of that uh, fire might have long-term impact on the residents in that part of London and so these are just some examples and but as I said they're not always uh, the, uh, the, the top end of technology some of the things that our scientists get involved in are really challenging areas of society we get involved in areas of policing with forensic science We've developed a, something called Lancashire Forensic Science Academy where our students get to go out and work with the crime scene investigators on real life cases where we're doing research to help them develop their technologies and techniques. We get to work with our psychologists in areas of difficult um, criminals and, and difficult people in our society and uh, understanding those and, and helping to develop and support hospitals and develop and support other people, police and so forth on addressing their, their challenges and so as a, as a as a role i have a fantastically exciting role you know i get involved in all these different projects i get to meet lots of really interesting people i get to travel um i get to, to use my brain every day to, to to solve problems to think about how we do things differently but it's never the same no two days are the same and uh, i have to say i really really enjoy my job i'm very proud of what we do um my team and, and my uh, my university and i'm uh, you know i have to say if i had to look back at my 16 year old self uh, you know and ask how did i arrive here the real question is i have no idea because um you know actually at 16, I'm sure my school teachers would not have thought of me as an academic, as a lecturer, as a professor. And that is not what I anticipated doing. It's not what they would have anticipated of me. I, I was by no means top of class in all my classes, but I got here because I was passionate about helping others. I followed that passion. I developed what I, I felt was a real strength in particular areas. And I built on those strengths and I'm you know, my recommendation to you would be to identify those things that drive you, that ensure that you uh, can be successful. And I think uh, that is the best advice I can give you. So good luck and, and please get involved in the fantastic work we do across science, technology, engineering, mathematics.